Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Excelling with Mathematical Modeling. I am Sandeep Banerjee and I shall be the instructor of this course. In this course, we will go through a number of introductory topics related to how we model biological, chemical, physical, and even sociological phenomena using the tool of mathematics, namely differential equations and difference equations. As we proceed with the lecture of this course, we will start with the introduction, importance, and limitations of mathematical modeling, followed by hand-on training of Microsoft Excel, namely how to solve algebraic equations, differential equations, difference equations, and visualization of graphs. Then we are going to proceed into continuous models using differential equations. Namely, we will be looking into dynamical systems, primarily in dimension one and two. We will be discussing the steady state solution, linear stability analysis, and phase portraits. Next, we will proceed towards discrete case using difference equations. And as we discuss most of the problems, we will be using Microsoft Excel to solve the equations numerically, plot the graphs, draw conclusions from the graph, and interpret the result in the context of the problem that we are trying to solve using mathematical modeling. Now, the question we should all ask is, what is the goal of this course? So, the goal is to teach you how to build a mathematical model from the scratch, how to estimate model parameters, how to use appropriate mathematical tools to solve them, and how to visualize the solution using Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Now, when it comes to mathematical modeling, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind. First of all, you are not going to be able to model everything in the entire world. And you need to keep the model sufficiently simple so that it can capture most of the dynamics of the process or problems we are interested in and should be simple enough so that we can actually solve them. This is a 12-week course spread over 60 lectures, each of approximately 30 minutes duration. During the course, assignments will be given every week for assessment of understanding on the subject. At the end of the course, an examination will be conducted for those who are interested to get a course participation certificate. I hope you are going to enjoy this course as much as me and I look forward to moving through the content of the course with you all. Thank you and see you soon.